Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And boy, that was quick. That was quick. Wizards of the Coast is cracking down on AI artwork, claiming they did not know that the artist known for doing AI artwork and NFTs uh, was going to produce AI-assisted art for their D&D book. Yeah, I had no idea. They had no idea. Looking at the artwork and seeing how weird it looked, that it was potentially AI generated art. So either they're completely incompetent and don't know who they're hiring, or they're completely incompetent and didn't catch the fact that the wolf had human feet or whatever. Uh, and the, the axe is into the wolf and all that stuff. Yeah, however you slice it, they're just completely incompetent. <laughs> yes. They're not paying attention. They're not paid enough to care. Now, they don't care. They, they just want the money. Pretty much. And it doesn't matter anyway. Guys, I'm telling you, the end game, no pun intended, for Dungeons and Dragons is that they're going to turn it into a shitty mobile app. But right, that's, but I was going to point out uh, top stories to the right. Watsy well, and digital gaming down in Q2. Oh, we might have to look into that one, too. I just looked over and saw that. I knew you were going to go with there. And yeah. I'm like, wait, we're right there. All right. So we're, we're <laughs> I love this. They tried to slip AI artwork. Bull, bull poop, bull turds. The guy's known for AI artwork and NFTs. There's no way they didn't know. There's is, no is way. Is bull they turds know. when the AI says bullshit? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo. Uh, please go out to clownfishtv.com for more objective news. When we talk about uh, tabletop gaming, go to adventureengine.net, where we're working on building our own game system. We will not use AI art. And we will not sell as many copies as Wizards, but oh, that's no. okay. No, no, That's okay. Um, anyway, let's go out to the original tweet here where they, they apologize, and then we'll read the article, and then we'll see what's going on here. Uh, D&D Beyond. On AI-generated art and Big B presents Glory of the Giants. Today, we became aware that an artist used AI to create artwork for the upcoming book Big B presents Glory of the Giants. We have worked with the artist since 2014. We have worked with this artist since 2014, and he proudly displays his AI art right, but they didn't know. And NFTs. And, and when the axe was in the wolf, we thought he meant to do that. Yeah. And he's put years of work into books we all love. While we weren't aware of the artist's choice, the artist's choice to use AI in the creation process for these commission pieces, we have discussed with it. We, we have discussed with him, and he will not use AI for Wizards work moving forward. We're revising our process and updating our artist guidelines to make clear that artists must refrain from using AI art generation as part of their art creation process for developing D&D art. But at least he was honest about it. Like, you know, he put it out there and said, showed how he used it. Like, he wasn't, like, hiding it or anything until they got mad about it. Well, it's very obvious. Looking, I mean, yeah, this person here, Miss Melody, uh, genuinely, how did this slip through? The blade is pretty big, and obviously AI, there's no one checking the art or something. No, I don't think so. I don't think they really no, care. No, but it's not their fault. Uh, Secrets of Blackmore. They're probably too busy checking the stock market value of Hasbro and Watsy. That's funny. Yeah, that is true. Did no one review it? A bit concerning that this slipped past review made it That's out. what I'm saying. They're trying to blame it all on the artist, but I'm like, well, one, the artist, like you said, tells everybody he does this. And two, weren't, wasn't anybody checking? I don't think anybody was checking. Or they didn't think anyone would notice. I mean, look, Wizards um, obviously didn't go to Gen Con this weekend. People said that they did not have much of a presence there. And I'm thinking they're probably hiding from their fans. Well, take your pick about what reason why. I mean, Let's see. Pinkertons, mm -hmm. the OGL, uh, this crap right here, the price hikes, uh, the overproducing magic cards. The, I mean, landfills, yeah. Oh yeah. What what why would they why would they be hiding from They're, their fans? Yeah, no why idea. would they be hiding? Um the toys look like shit. Yeah. <laughs> and you're putting in boxes so you can't see them, and you open the box and they're like broken in pieces. They look like garbage. Yeah, why? Yes, why Hasbro, die? yeah. Hasbro for sure has has gone downhill. Yeah, the D D figures are like the worst quality from what I've heard they fall apart. We actually have some. I didn't open them. I, I think I need to like rattle the box to see if I can hear the pieces rattling around inside. Um it reminds me of the that movie that um was it the Santa Claus movie or was that what it, no, whatever it was. Yeah, Santa Claus. And John Lithgow's character was like gonna just stuff dolls with like glass or he, he got in trouble for stuffing dolls with glass yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They had a skit on Saturday Night Live 
uh, here it was uh, Dan Aykroyd, and he was talking about how they were going to sell like bags of broken glass, and they were going to fill the doll- dolls with sawdust and nails, and yeah, they you know, get that in the movie, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is coming from ICV two. An artist tried to slip it by them, tried to slip it by them. We already read that, and uh, the replies. I'm but, just, I'm, I, I, there's, I, okay, I got another. I'm like this guy's known. Or do, that's what he's out there doing and making a big deal about, but they just didn't know that he was going to use it there and didn't check. And it was, he slipped it by us. So it even made it to the Associated Press. <laughs> um, and I'm they, sorry. They talk about it and they talk about the statement. They said, today's AI generated art often shows telltale glitches, such as distorted limbs, which is what caught the eye of skeptical D&D fans. If no one had said anything. They would have sounded like they didn't know. They just mm-hmm. would have. Yeah. I mean, that's it. People like, look as at As an art person, okay, someone who's like, I'm an art teacher, okay, I'm trained to pick up mistakes. I'm not draw as well as like neon, but when he has something drawn wrong, I can usually catch it. And then he gets mad at me. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. But like, when you just take a look at this, you can see, like anybody who has an art background at all, like the, 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 you know, stuff's wrong. The perspectives are wrong. The, the foot's wrong, you yeah. know? And when, and since it's known for its fantastic art, like on, a, on an indie comic, you might be like, okay, whatever, it's just their style. But this, they're known for this. And this artist has supposedly done pieces before where he didn't use AI. So people are like, wait a minute. This is not adding up. Meanwhile, I mean, they have legendary uh, veteran artists who mm-hmm. have been working on D&D and fantasy, you know, related materials for decades. And they will not give them a call. Mm-hmm. You know, like what? What the hell? Hasbro and Wizards didn't respond to requests for further comments Sunday. Hasbro bought D and D Beyond, which is was a fan site kind of for one uh, hundred forty six point three million last year, and that's going to be their their digital gaming hub. And we'll okay, get they keep doing these companies yeah. keep doing this. Somebody starts a fan blog, gets big, and then they just buy it. Yep. You know. Yep. Uh, the art in question is in a soon to be released hardcover book of monster descriptions and lore called Big B Presents Glory of the Giants. The digital and physical version of the package is selling for fifty nine ninety five. On the D&D website. Why would the, I just don't understand why digital would have to be expensive because there is no physical book being printed. But then again, they probably pay a couple bucks a book. So they're all, yeah, that's people don't realize that that's, that's why they're getting so pissed off about them raising the prices. What's going on is Hasbro about the only golden goose they have left now is, is D&D and magic. And they're, they're killing it. They're jacking the prices up and look, they, they, you know, they have buying power. They can get these books printed for a buck or two each. And they're selling. It's like printing. Pure I mean, profit. I guess you have to pay for people who did the work and stuff. But so. <laughs> well, do you? <laughs> if they're using bots, I mean, you do you? Those, you got to pay those AI computers that are doing all the work. Pay them in Bitcoin. They're going to pay all their contributors in Bitcoin, right? Uh, they said that Mattel's using AI now to help come up with ideas for new Hot Wheels cars. They said it was more of an experiment. Look, I don't agree with them trying to sneak it by the fans, especially that that base knowing how they feel about uh, AI art. But it's not going anywhere. No. Companies are going to use it more and more. And it is. I don't think Mattel using it to see if we can find up ideas for cars because we don't, we, you know, it's hard to keep track of all the things we've done before. And yeah. something like that, I can kind of understand it because they're not drawing the car, just kind of ideas. That's, you know, that's not the same thing. Well, what's going to happen eventually, and we'll, we'll talk about this when we we talk about the uh, the writer's strike and, and all that too in Hollywood, is eventually the AI is going to come up with ideas based on what has performed well in the past, based on demographics, mm-hmm. and we're going to have movie outlines and TV show outlines and toy lines designed around what do people want. Well, that's why I wish they would have done that with Star Wars. Maybe we wouldn't have movies that suck. Yeah, I mean, if you're going back to a nostalgic franchise an existing ip you know yeah now the problem is is that you know the ai can only generate ideas based on past history so you're not going to get anything new you're going to get uh something that's reconstituted from a bunch of other past successes well maybe disney needs to use that to make up star wars shows (laughs) maybe maybe because they're failing miserably but yeah this is like look i think i think there's there's going to be less and less tlc in uh, Dungeons and Dragons as it transitions to being more and more DLC. Um, so let's see what this story is here. This is Watsy and digital gaming down in Q2. That's interesting. So oh. sales sales in Hasbro's Wizards of the Coast and digital gaming were down 11%. Well, did you see the thing above it? Hasbro writes off $25 million for the movie. Oh, my God. Okay. This might be, this might be the bigger story. Um, yeah. 
uh, wow, okay, Magic the Gathering was a big reason for the sales decline. Magic sales were down 15% from $365 million in Q2. Well, wow. damn, just got to send the Pinkertons out and tell everybody they have to buy more. Yeah, right, send the Pinkertons out. Which company, And this is not going to help. This AI art thing is not going to help sell books. No. Wait, you want $60. You want more? You want like $10, $20 more for the books now, and you've got bots doing the artwork. Uh-huh. That's fantastic. That no one noticed. Nobody noticed. Yeah, right. Uh, for the first half, Magic the Gathering sales were down 4%. Um, yeah, so let's see. Magic the Gathering, Universes Beyond, Lord of the Rings. Oh, my God. Is that one title? Magic the Gathering. Universes Beyond, The Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle Earth was released near the end of the quarter on June 23rd with management noting that the bulk of revenue will be booked in Q3. Oh, yeah, because that's when it cuts off or whatever. Yeah, we think Lord of the Rings is more of an evergreen set. Yeah, except for the fact that you race swapped a bunch of characters and people are pissed. That's what I was going to (laughs) say. That might be one of the reasons they're losing money. Yeah, D&D was up in the quarter and segment results were also uh, buoyed by a 33% increase in digital revenue. Dit. Yep, there it is. Digital revenue behind D&D Beyond, which added nearly 2 million new registered users in the first half and growth in Magic the Gathering Arena. Again, another digital Well, here's thing. the thing. I think the reason people want to do it that way is because I think it's not – everybody can visualize when you're playing like tabletop games and you have to roll for this and roll for that. And a lot of times it gets really monotonous and boring and long. And some people just want to do action and not – you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not wait for all that. Like, for example, um, I don't like, like, you like Final Fantasy, where you have to have everybody takes a turn and stuff. I like Kingdom Hearts, because I can just go in and chop shit. And there's a difference. Well, Final Fantasy now, you basically just go in and chop shit. Yeah, like well, I, then I, I like, like it. <laughs> so. I like the old school turn-based combat. I like, actually. I like chopping shit. You just like chopping shit. Now, sometimes you get a good balance between, like, Final Fantasy XII uh, you, you know, you were in real time, but you still had to kind of take turns and you keep track of the battle and stuff. But that that's all that's all from D and D. I'm just saying, that's like, right? But I'm just it, saying, some know? people like like that. And I think some of the reason some of the digital stuff might do well is because I don't know what the digital is for this exactly, but I think it might be easier for some people to understand how to play it. It might be a lot. It'd be easier for people just to jump in and play that as opposed to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because sometimes tabletop can be very confusing, especially five E. So. um I think that might be a reason that people are attracted to that. They might want to play the digital game instead. So that, that's true. But this is this is concerning because, this th- again, this was their golden goose was Wizards, right, and digital gaming. Operating profit for Wizards of the Coast and digital gaming dropped to $142.3 million from $225 oh, million. that's a lot. That is huge. Which the company attributed to lower revenue, higher royalty expenses associated with universes beyond and increased investments. What, so like things like Lord of the Rings? Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not really. But when they're paying royalties, I'm assuming I mean things like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. they're Yeah. I think that their licensing fee was probably really high for it. Because it wasn't the one universes beyond was Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Okay. Well, there yeah. you go. Uh, so they're betting on Baldur's Gate 3, which. Yeah, I know they are. Cox asserted, that's Chris Cox, asserted has the potential to be a game of the year, helping expand the D&D audience from the 80 million people that play tabletop to the 800 million people that play digital RPGs. I'm telling you, this is what they're going to do. They're going to push D&D as a video game franchise, and then they're going to sell, they're going to sell it to somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to use the name. But D and D is going to become a new like League of Legends or something, and that's what they're. They'll make a tabletop version of it, but it's not going to be the primary way that you play D and D. The end game for them is to turn it into a video game. That's why I keep hiring people app. that yep. had that background. Yes, uh, they took a twenty five million dollar write down on Honor Among Thieves due to lower than expected box office receipts. I thought it was a win. I thought it was a fantastic slam dunk. Don't we still know. haven't seen it. We have it. We have it. We just haven't watched we it. Wa- we bought it on Voodoo on sale, and then we just forgot we don't it have existed. Time. And I'm usually watching K-dramas. So. Uh, with a write down lower profit contributions from WotC, Hasbro profits slipped from a $219.1 million profit in 2022 to $188.6 million. Whoa, wait. Hasbro profits slipped. Am I reading this correctly? Hasbro profits slipped from a $219 million profit in 2022 to a $188 million loss in Q2 well, if you're 2023. you're dropping from 219 to 188, you have to figure you drop that 219 first before you go down the 188. So you're talking like more like $400 million. Other factors include overall lower revenue and higher inventory closeouts related to the company's 16% reduction in inventory in the quarter. 
Uh, well, Hasbro- maybe, is this like for toys? Maybe because your toys yeah. are too expensive and they look like dog shit. They do. I'm sitting here like, other than the Armada Transformers, like I'm a huge Transformer collector. I love Transformers. But other than the Armada figures, I'm like, I think I'm done. I'm looking at these third-party Transformers. I'm like, they're way better. They're more expensive than Hasbro, but they're way better than the stuff that Hasbro is coming out with lately. I, uh, I don't think there's anything at Hasbro that I... No, because they're not like making the, gem. No. They, they, I mean, ponies are all the I don't, new ones. Yeah, so. well, yeah. And the ones that are like basic funds making basic the anniversaries. Basic funds making the retro ones. And then like the only other thing I could think of that we would have even been interested in was uh, Pinky Boo once upon a time collected the little pet shops, but they aren't doing those They're not now. making those anymore. I think they're they, supposed to be making them again, but I don't know. Hasbro doesn't want to be a toy company. We've talked about this before. Hasbro does not want to be a toy company. They want to basically be an IP rights holder and they want to license this shit out. And theme parks. I, and theme parks. And I, I could I could totally see them just at one point or, you know, at some point in time in the future, just being like, we are the studio that owns all these IP. If you want to make toys, you license the right from us to make G.I. Joe figures or something or gem dolls or something. Because they're basically doing that right now. I mean, basic funds making the ponies, the the classic ones. Um the, whatever the uh, the doll company was integrity was integrity. but they're not doing them now but they because they weren't interested they could very easily release anniversary edition gem dolls oh, they won't brushable do it brushable hair I'll buy everyone. Brushable hair, they won't do it. I will I will shill the shit out of it. Well no, they'll do it and then they'll be like, oh my god, doll guys, these dolls cost sixty dollars each. Yeah, they'll stuff her in a box. And then their eyes will be like, one will be up high, one will be down halfway on the face. Yeah, it'll look like some dollar store doll. Yeah. You know, and they'll stuff her in a box, you know. And you won't be able to see her anyway. I'll have to take her out of the box. Legs ripped off. Legs are falling off, you know. Uh, yeah, but they their revenues were down 10%. So this is not good. This is not good. So anyway, are we going to wrap this up? Yeah. I think we're going to wrap this up. You're making the wrap this up. I am. I'm giving him the, the hand. Like, are you going to wrap this up today? I'm giving, there's different hand gestures. She's giving give me the him. finger, which that's means one of the, That's one of the, the nicer ones. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they get the other finger, not too. Not usually. Um, but, uh, I'm yeah, not going to say never, but not usually. Going to wrap it up. Please yep. subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.